Hello, I'm Eric Gomez. And I'm Fred Jones with the Hawk TV on assignment. And we are here at the incredible South by Southwest conference in Austin, Texas. As you can see, there are attendees all over the place from all over the world. This conference is a culmination of creative minds from all kinds of backgrounds, including film, journalism, tech, and so much more. This is also an exciting opportunity to learn, connect, and gain insight from others in our industry. We're here representing Hillsborough Community College, gathering information to bring back to you. And we have a lot to cover, so we're gonna jump right into the action and make the most of all the events that are happening at the festival. There were so many amazing events happening at once throughout the day at South by Southwest. We had to split up to catch all the sessions we wanted to see. I feel like I've just had some really interesting conversations about kind of the state of the country, you know, ranging from that to new and emerging technologies to different ideas and, and strategic ways of thinking about business, but also society and culture. So I think my favorite part has really been the conversation and the openness to new ideas. One piece of advice we got before coming was don't go to a session that you can easily look up online or like all the sessions are going to be recorded, so go to the things that are really odd and things that like pe like spark your you know curiosity. So, and we've definitely taken that to heart and tried some new things. So that's been my favorite part. It says meet, eat, repeat, and I think it's a good, pretty good way to sum it up. Um, lots of lots of meeting new people, lots of free food, free drinks, um, and ultimately just a ton of fun. We had a chance to attend inspiring panels featuring people such as Elizabeth no, Banks. Too, like, you're just looking for people who say yes, you know? Oh, and by the way, the worst case is they say no, and your life doesn't change at all. <laughs> so then, but like if they say yes, like the whole world opens up. So don't be afraid to ask for what you want. Frank Oz, the president of CNN, Jeff Zucker. Yeah, but even the best organizations uh, don't make mistakes. They do. But when they do, they, they, they acknowledge it and, and correct it. And that's what uh, good journalistic outlets do. And even Olivia Wilde, who was there to promote her directorial debut, Booksmart. We wanted the film to accurately represent this generation. It, and so it came from the generation itself. We were answering to the reality that they're, they've created. I am so eternally grateful to all these people for all the work they put into the film. I feel like I'm holding their work in my heart and presenting it to the world. And it's a, it's a vulnerable thing, but it's also a huge honor. These panels led to incredible interviews with media industry professionals. My best advice for students who want to pursue journalism is to go out and do journalism. Get whatever internship you can get, go out, start interviewing people, start writing stories, start freelancing, do whatever you can do to actually practice the craft. Schooling is great, it's great to get an education, it's great to have professors who are invested in you, but the best way to become a journalist is to just go out and do journalism. There was also an entire trade show dedicated to innovative technology from all over the world. Obviously, one of the most important aspects of South by Southwest is the film festival. Behind me is the Rollins Theater, which is one of the many locations that is premiering these cinematic works of art. But what you may not know is that this festival also provides a wonderful opportunity to connect with people in entertainment and get insight on what it takes to break into the film industry. I'm just excited about the work. I love what I do. I'm basically living my dream, getting to tell stories and actually getting paid for it. So there's no reason I'm not going to like give it my all and um, work as hard as I have to work to tell the stories I want to tell and make the best art that I can make. 
So best advice for TV and film and people wanting to get into it is basically grabbing a bunch of friends, grabbing a camera and making stuff. Uh, it's about being on the playground. It's about um, being excited, having a really magical experience of just like creating and getting your hands dirty and like working with actors and working with cinematographers and just, just playing and taking risks and being bold with your vision and uh, just staying on the playground. Downtown Austin is completely taken over by the event. I'm enjoying a nice hot cup of coffee here at Joe's Coffee Shop. Compliments of Bumble, a dating app that's making a big splash at South by Southwest. A coffee shop takeover like this is just one branding method that businesses are using to get noticed during this conference. Fun doesn't stop when the doors close. The Austin nightlife scene is a great way for guests to meet each other while just hanging out and having fun. And that concludes our coverage of South by Southwest 2019. And here we are in front of the historic Paramount Theater, located in the lovely downtown Austin, Texas. And what we have here is the preferred mode of transport for the festival. You can find these rentable scooters pretty much anywhere you look all over the city. At this time, I would like to take a moment to thank the lovely city of Austin for an amazing time and also for all the hospitality. It's been one of a kind. I cannot begin to express how much I would recommend this festival to any HCC student, no matter what your major. It's just such a wonderful opportunity to come, to learn, and to connect with people. Yes, and it's been such an amazing opportunity to be able to cover a festival on this magnitude as well. Absolutely, and to bring it all home to you. Again, on Hawk TV Assignment, I'm Eric Gomez. And I'm Fred Jones. And we'll see you in Tampa.